This week, the city of Carson in California tried to turn the entire city into a gun-free zone. Luckily, they failed. However, we're going to talk a little bit about how it could affect you. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we really want to thank everybody that's been helping out. And if you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and hit that subscribe button for instant notifications. If you really want to help us out, though, come join us on Patreon. Um, we have original content you can't see on YouTube, special offers, and we'll make it worth your while. Um, however, we want to get back to the main story today, talking about Carson, California. And for those that haven't been watching the news, there was a lot happening. And it's important to understand how something that can happen just in a small city can affect everybody later on. Now, Carson's a small city um, in L.A. County, um, doesn't normally get much press, but they're not what you would call a uh, two-way friendly town. Uh, in addition, they have a lot of existing um, codes for the municipal rules that people have to follow, including a uh, prohibition on the sale or possession of assault rifles way beyond what the state of California requires. And it doesn't get any better from there. This week, they were trying to put through resolution 19-163. Um, and what they were proposing was to create a gun-free zone that would basically use zoning ordinance so that it would be impossible for gun stores to even exist. And what they wanted to do is they wanted to set up a one-mile distance restriction for what they called a sensitive use area, meaning you wouldn't be able to have a gun store within a mile of residential, within schools, daycare centers, parks, city property, or uh, anything. And eight gun stores were basically going to be shut down and pushed out as a result. And what you need to understand is this is not the first time this has happened in the United States. This has actually happened back in New York as well as New Jersey, where cities have been successful in using zoning ordinances, very similar to the way they would use exclusions for porn shops to push out gun stores. The case actually went to court earlier. Um, the county of Alameda uh, versus Texiera. And the, uh, the Ninth Court came back basically to say that even though the Second Amendment guarantees the right to possess, there is nothing in the interpretation that has anything to do with the sale or with the purchase. So the zoning ordinances have basically been upheld. Now, even scarier is they were trying to prohibit gun sales or possession in city-owned property and right-of-way. Now, there's plenty of places, uh, even locally, like Murrieta, where you, if you have a CCW, you can't take it into a park, and you can't take it into government buildings. But the key word here is right-of-way, because right-of-way has to do not just with streets, but it's sidewalks. So they were basically trying to nullify the ability of licensed CCW carriers to be able to carry in the city of Carson by using zoning ordinance as a way of nullifying state and federal law. And I, I had a chance to take a look at the Heller decision because it was Heller versus D.C. that has really become a landmark decision on protecting the Second Amendment and especially CCW. And the folks that tried writing this uh, ordinance for Carson were actually pretty clever because Heller does not prevent cities from creating sensitive use areas, meaning you can't carry near schools, um, can't carry in public parks, uh, daycare centers, wherever. And unfortunately, Heller does not protect us against sensitive use areas. So it doesn't, uh, Heller doesn't help us in that particular situation. Um, if you were out carrying and you were not carrying legal, you could be uh, 
arrested for California Penal Code 25400, which is the crime of carrying a concealed weapon, or California Penal Code 25850, which regards the crime of carrying a loaded firearm in public. I don't know how the city of Carson would be able to subvert California law or if they would be able to create a a city ordinance that would somehow um, nullify those. But it's a scary thought because they gave it a try. Uh, The third part was restricting the sale of specified equipment that is auxiliary to the use of firearms, which is such a broad concept they'd be able to stop the sale of just about anything firearms related. So the city failed. Basically, they had a public hearing where most of the town showed up with pitchforks as well as torches, and it didn't go. So because of that, the people spoke up. But it's important you understand that cities can sometimes do things in the dead of night, or without much public uh, input to where you could have this imposed upon you without even knowing it. So the takeaway from this is you've got to stay aware of what's happening within your city and your county so politically you can oppose it when it comes to preserving our Second Amendment rights. And you might think that these are just little things, but we lose our Second Amendment rights one cut at a time. This is all incremental. So we have to be afraid of taking small losses because they all end up to becoming a bigger loss. So stay involved, Uh, contribute to the NRA, the CRPA. Um, These are both organizations which take people and uh, towns and counties and states to court so that we can prevent laws like this from becoming on the books. Anyway, it's a serious subject. I'm glad we had a few minutes to cover it. And on behalf of Shoot of the Series, um, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We want to thank you for stopping in and spending some time. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching our videos. And if you enjoy watching them and want to see more of them, you can also consider come checking us out on our Patreon channel. For as little as $2 a month, you'll have access to the blogs, you'll have access to extra original videos, discounts on clothing, and also some giveaways. So come check us out.